Picking just eight albums to define the entire history of pop music. That's a tough one, but I did somehow. In this video, we take a trip through time, highlighting eight albums that capture the essence of each pop era since the 1980s. Coming off the 70s disco era, the 80s saw the rise of new wave and synth pop, with pop icons like Michael Jackson, Madonna, and Prince coming to prominence and shaping the sound and style of pop music. The biggest and most defining album to come out of this era was Thriller by Michael Jackson. Thriller was not only the best-selling album of all time, but also a cultural phenomenon that transcended music. Michael's sixth studio album broke barriers and redefined the possibilities of pop music. With iconic tracks like Billie Jean and Beat It, Thriller showcased Mike's unmatched talent as a performer and cemented his status as the king of pop. The album spent 37 weeks on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and won a record-breaking eight Grammy Awards, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to inspire generations of artists. There are two things in the music business, before Thriller and after Thriller. If Thriller came out today, it would still be the greatest album ever made. The early 1990s were a time of pop ballads, with vocalists like Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston ruling the charts. The defining album of this era was The Bodyguard Soundtrack by Whitney Houston. The soundtrack served as a victory lap for Whitney Houston, who was already a superstar. Her rendition of Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You became a defining moment in her career. The song's power, emotion, and technical mastery captivated audiences worldwide, holding the Billboard Hot 100 top spot for a record-breaking 14 weeks. The soundtrack became the best-selling album of the decade and remains one of the best-selling soundtracks of all time. With over 45 million copies sold worldwide, the album epitomized the trend of power ballads, which makes it a defining album of that era. The late 90s and early 2000s saw the rise of teen pop stars. Artists like Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, and Spice Girls rose to fame, ushering in the era of pop R&B and boy bands. The album that defines this era is Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. It's Britney Spears' debut album that introduced the world to the princes of pop and became a defining moment in the late 90s pop music landscape. With its title track becoming an instant classic, the album showcased Britney's undeniable talent and charisma, catapulting her into international fame. Baby One More Time topped the charts in multiple countries and went on to sell over 25 million copies worldwide, establishing Britney Spears as a pop cultural phenomenon. I could have chosen Millennium by Backstreet Boys or Spice by Spice Girls, but I chose Britney's debut because she went on to become a legend in the genre and define early 2000s pop music. The mid to late 2000s were dominated by hip hop and R&B and the pop stars had to adapt infusing those genres into their sound. An album that did that seamlessly was Future Sex Love Sounds by Justin Timberlake. Justin's second solo album, Future Sex Love Sounds, marked a departure from his boy band roots and established him as a force to be reckoned with in the world of pop music. With its innovative production and infectious grooves, the album pushed the boundaries of contemporary R&B and pop, earning critical acclaim and commercial success. It represents the chokehold that Timberland and Pharrell had on the charts at the time. It's like Sexy Back and My Love dominated the charts, solidifying Justin's status as a pop icon. The album debuted on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and has since sold over 10 million copies worldwide. The late 2000s and early 2010s saw pop music move into a more dance pop lane, with artists like Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, and Kesha ruling the charts. The album that defined this era was The Fame by Lady Gaga. The fame introduced the world to Gaga and heralded the arrival of a new era in pop music. With its electro-pop sound and unique aesthetic, the album broke boundaries and redefined the possibilities of pop music. Hits like Just Dance and Poker Face became anthems of a generation, catapulting Lady Gaga into superstardom. The fame topped the charts in multiple countries and earned Gaga critical acclaim, paving the way for her illustrious career as one of pop music's most influential artists. Katy Perry's Teenage Dream and Black Eyed Peas to the End were also emblems of this era. The mid-2010s saw pop music infuse tropical and 80s synth-pop sounds, with artists like Taylor Swift 
The Weeknd and Justin Bieber dropping defining albums. The album I chose to represent this era is 1989 by Taylor Swift. 1989 marked a significant shift in Taylor Swift's sound and catapulted her into new heights of success. Embracing a synth-pop sound inspired by the 1980s, the album showcased Taylor's evolution as an artist and solidified her status as a global superstar. Hits like Shake It Off and Blank Space dominated the charts, earning Taylor multiple Grammy awards and critical acclaim. 1989 debuted on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and has since become one of the best-selling albums of the decade, cementing Taylor's legacy as one of pop music's most influential figures. I could have chosen Purpose by Justin Bieber, but I chose 1989 because it was the full pop transition for an artist that would define pop music going forward. The late 20s tens were characterized by genre bending due to the dominance of streaming, with artists like Billie Eilish, Lil Nas X and BTS pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. The album that defined this era was When We All Fall Asleep Where Do We Go by Billie Eilish. Billie's debut album When We All Fall Asleep Where Do We Go signaled the arrival of a new era in pop music. With its dark and experimental sound, the album challenged traditional notions of pop music and blurred genres. It's like Bad Guy and Bury a Friend showcased Billy's unique voice and songwriting talent, earning her critical acclaim and commercial success. The album debuted on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and won multiple Grammy Awards, solidifying Billy's status as one of pop music's most promising young talents. In the early 2020s, a wave of 80s nostalgia washed over pop music. Everywhere you turned, catchy synth lines and throwback vibes dominated the charts. The album I chose to represent this era is Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. Future Nostalgia marked Dua Lipa's sophomore album, a redefined the sound of contemporary pop music. With its disco-infused sound and empowering lyrics, the album captured the spirit of the 1980s while remaining distinctly modern. Hits like Don't Start Now and Levitating dominated the charts, earning Dua Lipa critical acclaim and huge sales. The album debuted on number 2 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and won multiple Grammy Awards, solidifying Dua Lipa as one of pop music's brightest stars. Even though I chose Future Nostalgia, After Hours by The Weeknd and Sour by Olivia Rodrigo are honorable mentions from this era. So there you have it. Eight albums that define each era of pop music. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. What albums do you think were defining moments for pop? Hit the comments. Let's discuss.